Baird State House meeting that was allegedly called by President Uru Kenyatta at State House Nairobi. And as Elizabeth, Elizabeth Motoko now tells us, State House now says the head of state did not convene nor postpone such a meeting. Have a look. Wednesday evening was not an ordinary evening for all Mount Kenya members of parliament as well as other leaders from the region. Having received communication from Majority Leader Imo Skimunya to allegedly attend a meeting scheduled for Friday, March 18th at State House Nairobi. No, there is need. There is need for an urgent meeting uh, between our people and us uh, and the president so that we can know uh, and have a better direction on how we are going to conduct our campaigns in the Mount Kenya region as a party, as Jubilee, and also as Azimio. It is important because our leader and our party leader and the uh, supreme uh, authority, uh, leader is Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta. So I guess maybe he just wanted to let us know what he would want us to do and how he would want us to move forward. This already eliciting mixed reactions from UDA allied members of parliament who instead took to social media stating that they won't be attending the meeting as they had prior engagements clearly stating that the train has left the station and there was no turning back. <laughs> na zelazini na wanyo wa kukatika mulengo wa azimio. Sada hiyo chapa imefungwa, kila mtu wa chukua jazi yake na kazi yendele. Ata hatipazi kukua tunachukiana. Kini sasa sioni kutana kuongea hapi, mbunda wa zara yoma na teams za hatipanda. Hours later, the president, in a similar format, withdrew the call informing the leaders that the meeting had been postponed to a later date. In a statement, President Kenyatta said that he had decided to put off the meeting following wide consultations. He had called off the meeting stating that he will communicate the new dates for the meeting. Uh, we had received a communication through the leader of majority uh, that uh, His Excellency the President had uh, requested uh, members of parliament, uh, governors and senators uh, and uh, other leaders from Mount Kenya region to attend a meeting, uh, required them to attend a meeting tomorrow at State House Nairobi at 10. But uh, we've just received another communication on our way that uh, that has now since been cancelled and that we will get a communication later. I think we should not read too much into this. Uh, I guess maybe it was the meeting may have been hurried and uh, probably the president wanted uh, it to be better arranged. Na fikiria kwa hiliza mkutano diyo jabu la kusara. Kwa sababu wata kupea viongoze bao wa mechaguliwa masai shina manne kujitaharisha na wana tukumusimu wa siyasa watu wako na shuguli mingi kwa this was followed by another communication from State House spokesperson Kanzidena refuting any planned and organized meeting in the State House for the Mount Kenya leaders, timing the circulations of the prior communication as misleading. This begs the question who has clear information over the alleged meeting since Jubilee Secretary General Jeremiah Kioni confirmed that there was indeed a planned meeting. Uh, that invitation has gone out and mm -hmm. it is uh, to everybody. Uh, so it is not, uh, the invitation is to everybody. This comes as Jubilee Party dewept Kiambu Senator Kimani Wamatangi of his mandate as Majority Whip in the Senate. Elizabeth Mutuko, TV 47, Nairobi.